All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Wednesday. That means we are using DDD. So uh, I go ahead and uh, took your guys' suggestions. Uh, very helpful. You know, I, I still will not call myself a pro of this deck, but uh, your suggestions definitely help. Uh, my goal for this video, summon Siegfried. Siegfried, I want to, I want to, Siegfried to give them the DDD. Wow, wow, fucking can, can Stella Sheraton. All right, I haven't seen, can Stella's in a cool mate, because Stella's not good. Not, not right now, you know, as I said, uh, Constellers are literally only as good as Compulses, and uh, do you see Compulse in the competitive scene? No, then Constellers aren't good. <laughs> you know, I would know, you know, I, I used to I used to love me some Constellers, I used to play a deck all the time, but now, it's like, no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we went of course ahead and put in that DD Lilith, because uh, it's a level 4 that goes in the graveyard, so it helps with this play. And uh, then this play can go ahead and help me bust out that Alexander, and then the Alexander can help me bust out the Siegfried, because I want some fucking Siegfried, because Siegfried's good. So, there. Alright, so I guess I'll go ahead and activate my uh, Dark Contract. I'll probably start, uh, probably start uh, fusing it up soon. I should do some pretty major plays, because I can go ahead and uh, pitch to fuse. Then I can. Is this only when it's normal summon? Yeah, it's only when it's normal summon. So I can pitch the fuse, uh, fuse into my Oracle King. Yeah, Oracle King, which is level 7. Then I can go ahead and. Uh, I can search Dark Contract and I can actually search out. Um, uh, uh, what's her name? Lima or Limia or whatever her name is? Limia, I think that's her name is? I'm about to. I don't know. I'm about to get it right now. Cause I'm so good. I already I still got my con dark contract, swamp king, all that good stuff. So, no, not Lilith. The other one. Yeah, Lamia. Lamia. Lamia is actually pretty good. And I was mistaken. And you should definitely play this card. And I was, I was my my beat, my beat people, my beat. Uh, I I was bad. I should, I should definitely play her. She's good. She's good. It's like especially since I want to bust out freaking Siegfried so fucking bad, like so fucking bad. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and activate that slime. We're gonna go ahead and fuse it up with Lilith. I said, I know he probably had some back row back there, so you want to go ahead and stop me? It's a back row. Hurry it up. Yep, fuse it up with the Lilith. I don't know why I put the learn here. It's just they're all dark, and I was like, ah, fuck it, we'll put the learn. But I'm not sure. It's because I'm not sure if there's any monsters I really want to pitch the lure with. You know? Sure, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, some throw the Phoenix chain at me without even really thinking about what's gonna happen. So that's fine. I just gotta hope and pray that you don't have an honest. But I hope and pray and believe and. The power of magic, then maybe you won't have it. So, yeah, Siegfried, show him the power of the D. D D. <laughs> Siegfried, give him the D. <laughs> so as long as he doesn't have it on this, I should be okay. But he'll probably just go ahead and bust bust out a Pleiades next turn. I would not be surprised. So either Honest or Pleiades is gonna get me. I said, I'm not sure how the matchup is when it comes to this, because I summon a lot of monsters that don't want to get fucked up by Pleiades yet, I will still get fucked up by Pleiades, so I'll probably take the lore out. I thought I was going to put it in here to be cute, but I really don't need it. Yeah. So yeah, I summon Siegfried, I did it. So this allows me to try to summon a DD monster from my hand, so I'm good. This Pleiades is the worst, you know, if you kill my monsters, I go to Graveyard, I can rob them back, I have I have how to play. So if you kill my Siegfried, I can just be like, alright, uh, you know, Dark Contract, go ahead and search me. Um... Uh, Ragnarok, Rag special summon Ragnarok through slime, slime summon me back my, my Siegfried, you know? Good, but he's playing Castellar, so please bounce me, I mean, there I go, I'm gone, I'm going back to the extra deck, bye, bye world. <laughs> if you play this turn, you can target one face out, so I'm gonna fill in the gates if I can tell the next time I face, okay. So, I might go ahead and, uh, do that when he targets me with please and negate my dark contract so I don't get burned for a thousand. Here comes the Pleiades. Now, can I handle the Pleiades? I probably can. Yeah, pr I, I can. I can. I can handle the Pleiades. It's, um, I'm going to have to bait him, of course. Because he is, he's definitely going to go ahead and use the Pleiades uh, during this turn to get rid of the Sigfrey. And he's going to use it again on my turn. He's going to be out of the material. So i got to bait him into bouncing something. And then i got to push and kill the Pleiades. I think that's possible. I think I can do that. Uh, yeah, especially with Not Howling. I can go ahead and uh, use Lamia effect. Destroy my Dark Contract, summon Lamia. Night Howling, Night Howling, summon back. Uh... Uh, Lilith, Lilith get me back my uh, Dark Contract Gate, so that's good, and then Sync 7, Sync 8, so BAM, another fucking Siegfried, motherfucker, 
fuck with him. Nigga, I'm on fucking Soul Calibur. I will fuck. No. <laughs> you know, he actually kind of looks like him. Like, he wow. Wow. I was thinking, I was like, he might go into Volcasaurus. I was thinking he would. I was thinking he, uh, he might go into Volcasaurus. I didn't want to just assume that he was going to do it, but, you know. I, I, mean, I, I don't think that he can game me. So, I'll go ahead and uh, use my effect and target my dog contract and negate it till the end, until my, to the next time I face, so I'm going to take that extra thousand. Because he's going to dish out next chunk. I'm going to take 20, 28, and he's going to go into battle charge as 26, so at least I won't get burned and die from, uh, you know, that. Oh, yeah, and then when it's destroyed by the battle by contract, instead of there, I get a thousand points for uh, every dark contract I control. Wow, that's so that you just played it. Wow, you didn't go into fucking guy charger? Hello? <laughs> so, yay, I don't get burned for a thousand. <laughs> not bad, not bad. That was actually pretty smart, Daniel. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're learning DDDs. Yes, I am. So, there we go. And now I'm free. I'm free. So, we'll go ahead and play my Dark Contract. Go ahead and get me uh, Ragnarok. Activate Swirl. Special Summon Ragnarok. Look, I, the damn, I still got to play. See, I don't need a lair. I don't need a lair. Like, everybody, whoever suggested all of them, they suggested Lamia, they're like, dude, play Lamia, play this, play that, thank you, because I, I feel, I feel so vindicated that I can pull off these synchro plays, like, I used to never be able to do it, now look at this, now look at it, oh my god, I can actually go into fucking DDD fucking You Got Done King Super Chocolate Fudge Cover, I'm gonna fucking run you over in my fucking wheelchair guy, and he's not bad, not bad, but, ah, uh, I really want to keep my Alexander. Uh, can I bust out another 8? I'm not sure. I know I can bust out another Alexander, but is it worth it? I would have two Alexanders and I can exceed into this guy. During you, uh, this card exceeds from the rest of the turn, card effects cannot be active on the field other than this. Okay. I negate it. Alright, once turn into your input, you can target your short. All back row. You can target your from this card, then target one dark contract spell or trap card in your graveyard. I might be able to pull it off. Let me go ahead and see. Because I have you in the graveyard, so you're a D, and you're a DD, so, and you're a DD, so I might be able to pull off my wolf guy, but I don't think I want to banish my shit. Does this say, using, using fusion monsters, using monsters from your hand to order side of those situation, if you fuse them in a DD monster, you can also banish, oh, so, I can use stuff from my hand. If I can use stuff in my hand, then, you know, fuck it, we'll summon the wolf guy, and then we'll go ahead and go into fucking sit on you with the giant chair guy, because hell yeah. This is whatever this back row is, I can just go ahead and negate it with fucking Siegfried, because why not? Like, whew! Like, Kepler's nice, but I don't think I need it. Yeah, I don't think I need it. What does Kepler do? I think I get to search for any, uh, Dark Contract card. I am, uh, someone suggested that I just run the witch, so I'm running the witch. And I'm running, um, um, damn, what the fuck, uh, the trap stun card, just one. Because they say just take all the trap cards out, just play two of the witch, and then nothing else. But I'm going, oh, really like trap stun card. If I get it, I mean, it's a, it's a trap stun card. I mean, that's not bad. All right, so you're yellow eight, right? Yep, you. So I'm going to go ahead and fuse. Uh, I don't want to banish anything but you. Like, I want you gone, and I want whatever is in my grave. Whatever I don't need. I I would rather keep... Do I need you? Because once you get killed, you go back to the extra deck. So I really don't need you, but I guess I'd rather... Oh, I need you to XT with you. Duh. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and use Kepler. So you go to the grave, you get summoned, and then we'll go ahead and summon this guy. And now, we will go ahead and summon fucking big chair deity guy. So, yeah. I'd say I'm not sure if this set card's negated, but... Yeah, fuck you up. So you pretty much cannot activate fucking back row. Like, I got fucking Alexander, I got fucking Yuga, like, you're gonna get fucking wrecked. There's, there's no Yuga in the anime character's name, is there? Anybody want to use that name, Yuga? No. There's Yuya, and you tell Yugo. No, 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 I don't think there's a Yuga. So maybe you want to take that Yuga and name it one of the characters, because you use so many names and freaking Archfly, it's not even funny. It, it, it seems like you use so many U names that it seems like it's like the final series, and you know I wouldn't be surprised if it is. I would not be surprised if it is. I just don't have anything that can negate monster effects, but I guess I'm playing the deck wrong, because you're generally supposed to go like all in with this deck, and I'm not really going all in now, am I? 
<laughs> he's not even playing any back row. I got all the back row preparation. He's not even playing any back row. Like, that's the funny thing. So, definitely here comes the Pleiades. Like, you know, like, I can fuck your back row up. I can fuck your back row up. Like, cool story, bro. It's too bad I'm fucking not playing any back row. Like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, maybe you don't need the fucking stun card, because I, I, I can handle it. It seems like I can pretty much handle back row. I'm playing the MSTs just in, for just spot removal, so. Yep. <laughs> like, you don't know how awkward this is to be on this end of it, of the stick like this. <laughs> so, Pleiades, or another Volca. When you don't run guy charge. I don't I think you probably only running one Volca, so I guess Pleiades and then Pleiades will bounce one of them and then Pleiades will bounce the other one during my turn. Yeah. <coughs> Saw that coming. Saw that coming from a mile away, so. I mean, you know. I really don't want a heavy storm the field right now, so I'll just go away. Bye world! Kiss my ass. Yeah, that's fine. Cause I can literally go, you know, like night howling, night howling, summon back, uh, Ragnarok, Ragnarok, summon back whoever, whether it be this guy or, you know, if he kills Sigfried, summon Sigfried back. So I'm still good. I'm still good. The Aurora Darkness is just kind of dead in my hand, though. It really is. <laughs> oh, damn. You're actually going to attack an enemy? You got Honest in your hand? Forbidden Lance that you activated improperly. Good job. Should activate it during the damage step or I couldn't stop you. Nah, you can just run into me. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. You got wrecked. Oh my god, you got destroyed. <laughs> oh my god. Nah. Nah. Uh. No, nah, I'll take I'll take the two thousand just because I would like Sigfried to actually lock down this back row if need be. I'm I'm still just having so much fun right now. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Like that's the funny thing. I'm just I'm literally just fucking around. I'm not even taking this duel seriously. So yeah, we'll go ahead and summon Night Howling, Night Howling, use your effect, summon back Ragnarok. I guess that's good when you use Ragnarok in the C material, because you know, he goes to the graveyard when usually he destroyed, he just goes back to the fucking, uh, the fucking, uh, extra deck. It's like, nah. So, literally, you know that monster that you just, you, you just bounced with Pleiades? He's back! <laughs> oh, that's so good. I, I, I keep on forgetting that he just negates everything when he hits the field. I always forget that. So I can't even activate my fucking shit because I'm an idiot. Like, why do I keep forgetting that? Why? 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 Watch this be like a mirror force or something that he can activate. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was fun. That was fun. Mommy putting that work. Night Helen putting that work. I didn't really get the use of the use that love because he's gonna get destroyed. But yeah. So. All right, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board, tweak the deck a little bit more, but it's looking better. It's looking better. So uh, they are back. All right, we're back. Another duel. Whew. Okay. I, 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 you, get, you have the, 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 the particles in your mouth, you can test, taste the power, and that, that was awesome. Alright, uh, someone suggested taking out Copernicus, but I just put him in for right now, because it seems like there's actually some things that I want to send, so fuck it, let's send them, right? <laughs> right? Because right now, there's actually some things that I could go ahead and send. Uh, it's just I'm not sure if I want to use my normal summon right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and definitely activate this. Then... I get to go ahead and search a monster from a deck in my hand, so I think I want to go ahead and search uh, slime. Yeah, slime. Then I can fuse slime with necro slime summon. Then I can use swirl slime. I can bust out the first turn Alexander, can I? Yeah, I could. I could. I could. I could buzz out the first turn Alexander, which wouldn't be bad. It's not bad. It's just, once again, I have no monster effect negating, so I should put some fucking monster negating in here. Like, fucking some some solemn notices and shit. Like I said, I'm I'm not sure if I need Copernicus. It doesn't seem like I need him. So, uh, 
I'll probably take him out again and then probably put some hate. Like, this deck doesn't have any hate anymore. There's no back row hate. Go ahead and fuse it up. So, definitely summon the Oracle King. And, uh. Yeah. Pitch you two, summon you. And I think I'm gonna take it slow for right now. There's no reason for me to go absolute ham, hit the, hit the, hit the quan. I don't, I don't even know what that, that dance is. I just heard it. <laughs> I, I don't know dance moves. So, yeah, there's no reason for me to go absolutely ham, hit the quan. We'll just take it slow. Something a 28 beater is not too terrible. It's just, depending on what he's playing, I don't always play. You just play upstart, like, in past. With no background, no nothing. So, I have no idea what he's playing. Alright, he's playing, uh, Herotix, or Heretics, or however you say it. I never really remember how to say that name correctly. Because I, 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 I want to say Herotix, just cause, but then it sounds like Heraldix. Then I don't want to say Heretics, because that, that sounds like a bad word not to say when it comes to describing this game. So I'm assuming it's uh, Ultimate, Ultimate Tezoki in that deck. Yep, yeah, Tribute, Summon. That, will, when it's Tribute, will Summon Ultimate Tezoki. You have two sixes, so. Doesn't look like I'll get too much use out of this MST. <laughs> Like I said, I just need hate. Like, I can bust out the monsters, like, with ease. I just need some hate. And I know it's suggested, no, don't run the hate. You're an OTK bag. I'm not really an OTK player. I mean, I was playing Cosmos terrible for, like, forever. You know, sometimes I just like to take it slow and, you know, tread the waters. I don't want to go, like, hella in, hella ham. So, yeah, it's ultimate. Just walking that deck. All right. All right. So, I'm wondering if the card he's setting is a bluff or what. That's fine. I think I'll go ahead and save it towards the end phase, see if he sets anything else, because it's probably a bluff. Probably a bluff. Now, if he summons Bills, no, he's going to summon, summon Crystal Meth. How the fuck am I supposed to handle Crystal Meth? How the fuck am I supposed to handle Crystal Meth? 3,000 beaters, like, the struggle. I'm just waiting for this card to fucking get all wow, and I got fucking destroyed, because I'm level 5 or higher. I got fucking wrecked. I got fucking destroyed. Now the, now, the, now the question comes, how the fuck am I supposed to handle fucking Crystal Meth? This is gonna be a tough one. This really is. This really is. I don't think I can, to tell you the truth. I, maybe if I can bait him into like maybe negating something and then make like a big guy or something, but I, I don't think I have to go into him. I, I can crash with him. No, because he'll gain my attack, so I can't, I can't attack over him. I literally have to rely on the power of my XC monsters, which I don't have many. So either I summon the Yuga on him, or a big item, and then not negated, not get negated. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one, people. This is gonna be a tough one. I have some plays. I have some plays. I do. I really do. Just how the fuck am I supposed to do this? So she's dead. All right, she's dead. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate this. I'm gonna go ahead and search for. No, 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 Ragnarok. Yeah, it really doesn't seem like I need Copernicus. It seems like I'm fine without it. Alright, then we'll go ahead and use Swirl to use Special Summon Ragnarok, unless you want to say no, in which case, alright, that's fine. It's up to you. Alright, so you are going to negate, that's fine. You can have that, that what I'm mad at. Woo! That's chill. That's chill. So what do you do? Marjodome by banishing this one from your graveyard, including this card. So why can you still go off if I... Oh, because I can banish Oracle King itself. So I can banish an Oracle King to summon another Oracle King, but then can I summon an Oracle King after that? That's the question. Ah, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. So I think I might normal summon. I'm going to go ahead and normal summon Copernicus. So Copernicus is actually going to get some working. Copernicus. Summon Copernicus. Copernicus, go ahead and send slime again, and then uh, can only use each GD slime so close. I don't think I can use its effect this turn though. Oh, if I can't use its effect, then that's so bad. That's so bad. If I can't use its effect, oh my god, I don't think I can use its effect. Because I think I've already used its effect this turn, so I don't think I can use its effect. That sucks! It sucks so hard! Oh my god, that sucks so hard. I said, I think... Uh, Oh, fuck it, send it anyway. Send it anyway, because I'm going to go ahead and fuse with it anyway. And then I can just use Dark Contract and then fuse again, and then I can have uh, my two remaining uh, 
uh, Oracle King, because I, I up your Oracle King with freaking three, so. There you go, so. Banish you two, because fuck it, I'm not summoning another one of you. Then we'll go ahead and activate my uh, Swamp King. Activate Swamp King. We're gonna go ahead and summon another Oracle King by fusing with you and. Uh, my Talon's good, Ragnarok's good, Ragnarok, Ragnarok, because I can revive it from the graveyard. Summon another Oracle King. And now I may not have made myself a DD rank 7, but I can always go into the big eye. So, big eye. You already used your effect. Which is just mwah, great. Give me that. You don't need it. You definitely don't need it. So now I got the power of the fucking clear wing synchro dragon. <laughs> I'm I'm getting hella burned for life points though, though. Like I'm getting fucking tore up. So if he can if he can do a three thousand life points to me right now, which I wouldn't be surprised because he's probably gonna rip the fucking regeki and destroy me. Yeah. Like, that would suck. Rick Bergecki, go off and do, like, another 3,000 BLS. BLS, BL fucking less. BL fucking less. Wow, so he's just gonna go BLS, just attack into the big guy. Like, okay. Ah, but you used your effect, son. If you used your effect, I think I'll just snap your neck. <laughs> oh, but I'm still attacked. That sucks. That sucks, I was still attacked. I was like, oh, I can kill you, and your effect goes off. And no, you know, I'm still attacked. I'm getting tore up life point wise. Like, I'm getting fucking shrek right now. Like, hello? It's me. <laughs> I'm getting my life points tore up. I can actually end this duel though, because I can go ahead and activate Dark Contract. Go ahead and get me another Ragnarok, and special summon it with Swirl, and then special summon it my Oracle King, and wrap this duel up, B. So, thank you for the Clear Wing. I mean, hell yeah, thank you. <laughs> ah, the power! <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> uh, I said I, I could have went into my fucking uh, Yuga, but there's no reason to. This play is fine. And even if you got like the Battle Fader or whatever, I could just negate it with clearing. With fucking, I mean clearing fucking crystal math. Like, whoo, I won! I, just, I came back! <laughs> like, ah, big guy, so strong. Give me that fucking crystal math. Ah, uh, it feels good to have crystal meth on your side. Crystal meth is on your side. Especially when you get addicted to it and it does it's just a terrible drug, don't do it. Alright. I mean I'm, I'm I mean, guys, you guys should try out crystal meth. Like, try it out. <laughs> I'm talking about the e <laughs> Only my channel was it would you ever have someone suggesting that you fucking do crystal meth. <laughs> I wanna get one more duel in. Be right back. Alright, this should be the last duel of the video. Yeah, so I put some of the hatred back. I put the hatred back. I took out the Copernicus. He, he, he kind of did his job, but he really didn't need him, but he was there. I put the hatred in, people. I need the hatred. Like, the hatred inside me. I need the notice, the warning, the vanity. And if I summon something big and beefy, especially since I can negate spells and trash with Siegfried, I'm gonna need Siegfried to get backed up. It's nice that I can negate spells and trash, but even freaking uh, Six Samurais have some back row to back up the, the Shien, so. It will leave it like that. Ooh, trains. Oh, that's gonna be a tough one. Fucking, how the fuck am I supposed to get over Dora? <laughs> like, oh my god, like, uh, this deck. Like, that's one of the biggest flaws of this deck. Whenever your opponent just busts out these big ass monsters, I have the hardest time against anything that's 3,000 plus. It's just like, god damn it. Like, I can bust the monsters out strong, bust out monsters stronger than 3,000. It's just really difficult to do. Wow, so he actually pitched fucking the crane. Like, wow. Wow, I did not see that coming. Alright people, alright, so I'm going to have to do this, I only use one effect of slime once the turn, only one step turn, so opening up with multiple is not the greatest thing ever, so, uh, we'll go ahead and activate, go ahead and summon my Oracle King by pitching, I guess, Necro Slime, yeah, pitch, pitch, summon, I think I'm going to have to try and, and attempt to dish out as much fucking damage as possible, and I'm not even sure if that's gonna be possible, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> so I can go ahead and use slime to banish to summon my. Uh, I guess I would summon Leonidas. Like, let's see if I can just blatantly just OTK my opponent before he fucking runs me over with trains. And that's if and only if he doesn't fucking uh, 
Is it just shit in my graveyard? But banishing two zones in your graveyard, including this card, yeah, it's just shit in the graveyard. That's that sucks. That sucks. I th I thought I could do a little bit more than that. If I go into DD monsters and get right out of my hand, but I kind of like to be slime once per turn, so that's not gonna work either. God damn it. God damn it. Ah, I fucked up. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, you know, begin to slime summon, and then you know, because I didn't want to use necro slime to banish yet. You know, I didn't want to do that yet. Mm. If I could normal summon and summon him in defense mode, or oh, normal summon in attack mode, and then he would summon back one of them, but what was the point of that? If I got an additional normal summon, then yeah, but I don't have an additional normal summon, so I think that's the best as I can get. And that's not even assuming that he won't have, like, the, sh the trains to block my attacks, like, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. It is not looking good. Makes me wish I had fucking Lamia right now. If I had my fucking, uh, my DDD fucking Dark Contract shit, then hell yeah. Fuck out that fucking shit right now, but... Nah, I, there's nothing I can do. I can summon Willis and she can give me back slime, what does that do? You know, I can summon back, I can summon slime, what the fuck would that do? I can normal summon seven Ragnarok, what the fuck would that do? So, I can make a big eye, what the fuck would that do? Like, ah, man, makes me wish I opened up with the hatred, the solemn notice, the solemn warning, the vanity, something. Something, because I'm gonna get fucking Dora. I'm gonna get fucking Dora, people, and that fucking sucks, because I cannot fucking handle Dora for the love of God. Like, this is gonna be a difficult fucking duel to be able to run over this Dora and then proceed to handle this duel. Shit. If only I could have fucking just OTK'd him, then I would not have a problem. But I guess the, it wouldn't be a very entertaining final duel this video, just me wrecking him, but hey, that's what you need to do sometimes. Just. Like, just one of the hatreds. Just one. Song warning, song notice, vanities, the one of the hatreds that I put in here. There's Dora. Great. Fucking great. <laughs> That's all I need is Dora in my life. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and of course Dora's just gonna detach and make itself unaffected by card effects to the end of the turn, so there's no way I can fucking summon back and make a big eye or anything along those lines, so I can just get that idea out of my fucking head. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I can use you and fuse. I can go ahead and fuse into I think it's like one DDD and one Yeah, it's one DDD. It has to be used. This has to use be used, so I think the best fusion I can go into would be my three thousand guy, my uh my uh this guy. And clearly he can't handle door. The only guy can handle door is him or him. And I don't think I'm going to either one of these guys, especially since I don't have any access to eights like that. So, maybe, maybe, wait a minute, wait a minute, if I go and, wait a minute, I think I might have this, I think I might have this, if I go slime, banish, banish, summon, my DD fusion monster is level 8, and if I go fusion summon you two, you go to the graveyard, then you slime effect, especially summon Ragnarok from my, uh, yeah, yeah, that works, that totally works, that totally works, yeah, I got it, so. I'll go ahead and just use Necro Slime, Banish U2, Summon, uh, what's its face? Him. I'm banishing you and you. Summon you. Alright, then I'm gonna go ahead and activate Swirl. And to use you and Lilith. And I said, you can use your door effect whenever you want, but I'm gonna run you over, so. That's a given. <laughs> Alright, so. And go ahead and detach now, make yourself unaffected by shit, that's fine, I don't care. Uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter, because I think this is game, so. Go ahead and summon you. Then go ahead and activate Swirl. Summon back Ragnarok. Oh, well, summon back, summon Ragnarok. Then, uh, Ragnarok, I don't think there's anything that you could summon. Oh, I could just use your effect to freaking ban- I keep on forgetting that you have the effect attributed to DD monster and banish. Uh, opponent's monster, but no, that's not what I want right now. Uh, and definitely a big gay chair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit on you. And then that's gonna be the end of this duel. I'm gonna fucking sit on you. Yes, I do. Yes, it's true. I sit on you. Bam. Bam. Whew! That was fun. That was fun. That was a good duel. That was a good duel. Please don't tell me you have something block the attack. No, it just froze. Yeah, it just froze. He, he, he quit. So. 
I don't know. I don't know why Deadpool does that. My opponent just fucking just disconnects and Deadpool just freezes. It's like, oh shit, I don't know what to do. They they left. <laughs> so instead of just being like, hey, your opponent disconnected, you win. It's just like frozen. I, I, you can clearly see nothing's happening right now. I thought I thought maybe he was playing like maybe his train blocker, uh, the level three one, but no, it was said waiting. So no. so I won. I won. So there we go, people. I used the power of DVDs. All right. I I was wrong. I was wrong. Lamia, she's good. Lilith, she's good. Uh, there's some good things in here, there really is, and might be, I'm not really running many level 4s, I'm not, I'm not running, uh, Burfin Light, I mean, I just don't feel like he's worth going into, I mean, I'll run him if I ever pull off the XC, but it's just not really worth it, and you can clearly see he's like my only XC, that's rank 4, so, I might even take him out for other shit, that guy, of course, is my 7, uh, got my 6 freeze, I had seriously doubt I ever summon 3, but just in case, because I am running, you know, lots of 7s, like, he's a 7, she's a 7, uh, you know, there's a lot of 7s, so, uh, it's really easy to go ahead and do the Lamia style on one of those seven summon the sick freed and sick freed's awesome. Uh, Alexander, I don't tell him that often, but I guess he'll have synergy when I do other plays, you know, especially if it's just like, you know, summon Alexander, then summon normal summon level, uh, uh, normal summon special on the DD monster, he'll go off and summon me back to the fucking Lamia that's in the graveyard, and then bam, there's a uh, sick freed right there, so not bad. I uh, really don't go into this guy often. I, I don't know. I just don't see a combo enough to really go into him. I'm all about the fucking the Oracle King. I'm running, I guess I'm running two of him just in case one gets killed because generally the, the players only run one and then it gets killed and then they can't summon another one. So if I can bust out two of these, that's not bad. You know, he, so I'm not at the same time, but in the duel. So. And I got plenty of extra deck space. Like I got the Synchro Summons, I got the XC Summons, I got the Fusion Summons and stuff. That was a fun duel. So if you guys have any more suggestions that you want to state, even though I'm pretty content with the deck is, I, I'm so, I apologize, I know you said, no, DVDs don't run in the back row. I gotta run the hate, because I've been, I, I've been, it's been biting me in the butt, you having these back and forth duels, and while those duels are fun, I, no, I want, I want to fucking notice, warning, vanities, I summon something juicy, you're not gonna get over it, alright? I want to enjoy the juiciness of fucking sick free. hello, that was, pause, anyway. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow playing them Dino Mist. Alright people, thanks for watching.